All right, San Diego Comic Con 2017 is done. It was my fifth year there. Let's talk about it. here in San Diego in my hotel room. This is the fifth year I've come to San Diego Comic-Con and it's the first time that I have my own hotel room. Previous times we always crammed at least four people into a room and uh, not this year. This year I have my own room. No sleeping on the floor, no sharing beds. This is so nice. So there is the convention center and an ad for a TBS show I have never watched above it. It's kind of blocked by this palm tree right here, but um, but it's like literally right outside my window. So this was my fifth year at Comic-Con, but my third year there working for Condé Nast Entertainment, meaning I'm making videos for Vanity Fair and Wired. And so while this is a fun trip with a lot of cool stuff that I enjoy, it's also work because they're flying me out there and putting me up in a hotel. So I've got to earn that. <laughs> When I go to Comic-Con, I really have three priorities. The first is to see and catch up with the friends that I really only see like once a year at Comic-Con. I have a bunch of friends in the comic industry who live all over the country, so this is the one time that we're all in the same place and I can see them. The second priority is to get into as many of the absurd, lavish Hollywood parties as possible. If you don't know, every night at Comic-Con, there are these big, crazy, invite-only industry parties thrown by Hollywood Studios usually connected to some movie or TV show they have coming out. Regular con attendees cannot go, but because my friends and I are on the press list, we've gotten pretty good at like talking our way into these and getting on the lists. And so every year we get better and better and try to get into more and more. And at all of these parties, there's like an open bar and free food and random celebrities walking around. We get in there and just think, we shouldn't be here. We're really out of place but that's the fun of it. And the third priority, which is often connected to the second one, is just to see some wacky shit that I'm not gonna see anywhere else during the year. I've got all my gear for tomorrow to shoot videos. Uh, I've dropped it back here in my hotel room. I got on the list for what I thought was a Blade Runner party, and apparently it's not a party, I don't know what it is. It's sponsored by Johnny Walker, so I hope there's free whiskey. And I'm going to go check that out now, and then we'll see what happens next. Are you name? with the media? Yes. Yes. Okay, just go right in. Uh, my name is Patrick Williams. Comic-Con, uh, sort of the official day one, because uh, Wednesday is not technically an actual day. And uh, I'm gonna go try to find some breakfast, and then it is time for work. So for today, I won't be documenting much of this because I've actually got to work for Condé Nast, and, you know, they're not paying me to make my own vlog. It's like 1.30, it's Thursday, we're taking a lunch break. I've, I think I'm ahead of schedule with what I've been shooting for Kana Nast, and it's looking pretty good. 
There's my sweet camera. And by the way, this is Chad who does every voiceover for all our videos. Hey everybody. So if there's a fake trailer, Chad did the voiceover. I have purchased a gift for my sister that is probably the best gift I will get anybody in like the next five years. I don't usually buy a ton of stuff at Comic-Con. I might get like a couple graphic novels or a Mondo poster if I get lucky with one of those. But this year, while I was walking by the Image Comics booth on Thursday when I was briefly on the show floor, I saw behind the counter the best gift I will get anybody for probably many years to come. So quick background, the Image Comics series Saga, which everyone loves, I love it, you love it, and my sister loves it. And her favorite character, which is probably a lot of people's favorite character, is Goose, the little super adorable seal who walks on his hind legs and wears yellow overalls and has like a, a big spear thing. He's great. And for years, my sister has been saying to me, they should really make a plush goose because it would be great and everyone would love it. And it's true. But they're very selective with the Saga merchandise they make. There's like one toy a year. And so I didn't have any expectations for this happening anytime soon. But Thursday, I'm walking past the booth and right there behind the counter is a plush goose. And it's perfect. He's, he looks perfect. He's adorable. He's got the overalls and the rain hat, and he's got everything. And so, I bought it immediately, and if nothing else from this entire con, I was so excited to just get back home because I had got my sister the best gift I would get anyone. I will probably get anyone for years. Done. For the day. Important footage. Editing starts now. I basically live off of these Nature Valley granola bars at Comic-Con. It's party time, so I'd better get changed into some fancy clothes. Okay, I changed my clothes. So, I'm gonna go to the fandom party now. I don't know what that is. Fandom is like a word to refer to a thing. I'm, is it a company? I, what is it promoting? I don't know. Apparently Big Boy from Outcast is performing. Why? It's cool, but why? So right now, I'm gonna to cut to that party. And... We got free taco bar, wine, whiskey. Are you making a video? View, yeah. Oh, okay. Alex, how's the food? Cheers. Cheers. Hey, this is a plastic glass. Yeah, come on, come on. Send me a face to the fucking door. So this year I was able to work out a pretty good balance between the fun stuff and the work. I could go to the parties each night and stay out until about 2, then sleep until 7.30 or 8, get up, edit frantically, and get the videos done by about 11 to be reviewed by the people I was working with. And, um, and that worked out pretty nicely. And compared to previous years, I was not that stressed and was not that exhausted by the end. Like two years ago, I just... I'm amazed I did not have a panic attack. It was, it was brutal. I just left the nylon party, which is, is weird because it doesn't have any ties to any film or TV or comics or anything like that. And, um, People there are way too attractive and it's disconcerting. So far, I went to the CW BuzzFeed party. Uh, waited in line for an hour, it was at capacity, and we couldn't get in. Then, the Warner Brothers television party, waited in line for an hour, got in, and um, it was pretty good, because we got there, and within minutes, Josie and the Pussycats from Riverdale performed, featuring Veronica.
Alright guys, what did you get? We got, we got nerd pillows. It's <laughs> our exclusive, we weren't supposed to take them. <laughs> Sending off the uh, the rough cut at about 11:30. It's uploading now, and I'm eating yet more granola bars. At this weekend, I'm not gonna want to eat another granola bar for like a, a year. So we've reached the crazy part where I'm just delivering the cuts of the videos, and there's just like there's all the stuff you've got to deliver, and all the different versions of them, and I'm just exporting these and uploading them really really fast. And for the first time in my life, I ordered room service because I think I earned it. I've only eaten granola bars all day and um, it's great, it really tastes wonderful and um, I did, I had like, a free like 20 minutes and I ran over to the convention center. I met Brian Lee O'Malley, creator of Scott Pilgrim, one of just my favorite people who make comics. Got this sweet poster signed. So that's getting framed and going up in the apartment. And I'm nearing the end. This export's just about done. Gotta go upload it now. I think I'm done. I just uploaded a ton of files. I'm a little delirious. It's 5.36. Um, I'm gonna go to the con now. Let's go. I never let myself buy toys, except when I come here. Since last year, I bought the Marco and Alana figures. I kind of had to complete the set, and yes, I spent $45 on this, which is absurd, but it's Comic-Con, so... Oh, what are you gonna do? It's closing. We've gotta go. This is Justin. What's up? We're leaving. They're, they're closing this down. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta go. Day four. Um, hard part's over. I think over there, there's this battleship. And to this day, my, my biggest Comic-Con regret is that like three years ago, there was a party there where Rhymes performed on that battleship, and I could not get in. And it still haunts me to this day. So for the rest of the con, I just kind of strolled around and took my time. I saw some friends, I bought some books, I got the very nice God Country Convention exclusive hardcover by my buddy Donnie Cates, who I'm so excited has just totally blown up. He's gonna write Doctor Strange now. I'm halfway through this, and it rules. It deserves all the praise it has received. And it was a pretty good final day, and I was shocked at the end when I realized I'm not that tired. I don't just want to die like I usually do, you know, by the end of the day on Sunday. It was probably the most painless con that I've had, which is shocking. <laughs> It is once again a shame that I just didn't have time to see a single panel. I didn't even look at the schedule. I don't even know what was happening. In a future year, it would be nice to actually do that. What was really great though, which was a whole new experience for me, was meeting some of you guys, some of the viewers who just, you know, were very nice to come up and say hello. You were all great. It was a pleasure meeting you. I feel bad that I didn't do some kind of more formal, organized meetup thing because I'm I'm new at that stuff. And um, at a future one, I will actually try to do that. That would be cool. But um, it was really, really cool meeting all of you. And so for next year, because of course I'll go next year, I go every year, it would be cool to not even have to work, to just get to hang out and enjoy the con and meet people and just, you know, have some fun and do like a really, really cool Comic-Con video that I could put all my effort into. But um, I guess we'll see. It's a year away. We'll worry about that later. I think it would be fun. But, um, but yeah, it was a good con. And the most important thing is that I got to come home and give my sister the best gift. Is this what I think that it might be? Uh, probably not.
he's really sad. Mary, how do you like your gift? 